Now that we've verified all the pieces of your Aries that are in the box, let's take a look at how to assemble it. Now, let's talk about some terminology to which we're going to keep referring. First and foremost, on the front of the drone, you will notice the name Ares, and right beneath it is the camera. That's what I'm going to call the front of the drone. On the opposite side, what I'm going to call the tail, or the rear, is the rear indicator LED tail light. Now let's look at installing the battery. On the battery itself, you'll notice it has a button on the back, which is very convenient. When you press it, the display shows how much battery life you have left on this specific battery before you put it in, which is very useful. Now, to insert it, you put it in the back of the drone and just press it until it has pushed all the way in. And now, most importantly, after you do that, there's a lock on the bottom of the drone that you want to lock so that the battery does not come out while you are flying. One battery on the Ares in good weather will give you about 20 minutes of flight time, which is a lot. And you can obviously buy more batteries online. Now, the drone in flight is a bit hard to orient because it looks like a big X. And to help with that, Ares has added some LED indicator lights on the exterior arms so that you can see which direction is the front and which direction is the back. The two green LEDs indicate the front of the drone and two red LEDs represent for the tail so that if it's overhead or far away, you can tell which direction at any point the drone is facing. Let's take a look at putting on the propellers. So, we mentioned in the first video that there are two different propeller types, one with a black cap and one with a gray cap. These tell you where they go onto the drone. They also have a very unique feature that they are pre-threaded in opposite directions. That means you cannot put the wrong propeller on the wrong, uh, wrong motor, so don't force it. Don't use force, they go right on. So the black ones, if you look on the drone, two arms are labeled with raised P's. That is for where the black cap propellers go. And if you place them on there, just gently spin them in either direction, and they will tighten themselves on. So again, you don't have to use much force. The black caps go with the raised P's, and they tighten themselves on. The gray ones go to the opposite. Again, just spin them lightly, and they will tighten themselves down. Now there's a very key feature with these propellers in particular. They tighten themselves in flight, so you don't have to force them on or really get them tight. As soon as you fire it up and start to take off, the propellers are constantly tightening. But to get them off, you will need a little bit of assistance from the included wrench. And it just fits right onto the motor, and then you can just use a little bit of pressure to get your propeller right back off. You have two extra propellers provided also in case these get damaged. And of course, you can always use the propeller guards to protect people, things, and the propellers themselves uh, when using the drone. And if you need any more propellers for any reason, you can purchase them online. In the next video, we're going to take a look at assembling the controller for the Ares.